welcome back friend today in this video i will show you that what is the difference between pregnancy rapid test card and hormone hcg hormone test and how we are performing this test in the lab for pregnancy rapid card there are different type of companies available and and there are two types of car uh, available one is strip and one is card strips usually available in pharmacy that you can use in home and for that you will use only urine sample because you have to dip the strip but for uh, in lab you will use cards only because in lab we are using uh, we are doing pregnancy test by two methods by urine sample and by serum or plasma sample as you can see that there in that also it was written so first of all i will show you that how we are doing pregnancy rapid test and then how we are doing hcg hormone test and then what is the difference between results of both test now this card available and when we will uh, drop the serum and uh, uh, serum or plasma or urine that time we will uh, wait for 5 to 10 minutes and then we will observe for one line and two lines if one line appear in front of c it means it is negative if two lines appeared in front of c and t it means it is positive and if no line appeared or if, uh, if one line came in front of t but no line came in front of c it means card is invalid i am showing you method by which we will use the serum means blood method uh, urine already i have shown before also and if you are checking pregnancy test in home just keep in mind that do by early morning sample because early morning hcg levels are more so it is better to do this test in early morning now in lab as you can see this is the serum that we got after centrifuge the sample and i will drop 3 to 4 drops of serum and then we will wait for 5 minutes most of the time doctors first will recommend only pregnancy rapid test some in some cases and special cases they will move toward the hcg test now you can see that that only one line appeared in front of c c and t is not visible so just i will rub the marker on that so that you can see clearly now you see only in front of c one line came it means that pregnancy is negative now i will show you one more uh, pregnant test that will show the positive result then we can see the difference between uh, positive and negative now you can see this came positive because uh, two lines came in front of c now you can see uh, for one patient as it written as a only one line came it means that test is negative and for iman two lines came it means this is positive uh, c and t because both line appeared now for iman patient just for example we will see the hcg test to see the how for hcg what is now the point is what is the difference between hcg and rapid test in rapid test only we will know the test is either positive or negative but for hcg hormone test we will see the number of uh, hormones level in the body means how much level of hcg hormone is present in the blood at the moment so now for iman patient as it came positive but how much it is positive that we don't know so we will see the hcg test and then we will get idea there are different machines and kits available for this method i am showing you vidas ma machine that in vidas machine how we will do the hcg test first we will program the control and then we will program the patient name and uh, every machine have range that uh, that can read the maximum value uh, for example in vidas maximum 1500 value can read without dilution so if you see the first if you are doing in vidas i will recommend you better first you do pregnancy rapid test if it is coming good high positive within 5 minute then you go to dilution if it's coming weak positive then no need to dilute the sample now you can see already program for this test we need 100 microliter serum and this test will take 22 minutes as i show you before uh, that it was good positive so i will move toward the dilution so that result uh, now i have idea that result maybe will be more than 500 so i need exact digits that how much it is 
there as i show you before in the introduction of kit there was diluting reagent uh, that diluting reagent or uh, is coming with the kit with that reagent we have to dilute the sample if diluting reagent is not coming in the kit you can dilute with normal saline also but it, first of all you check the kit literature that which type of dilution is recommended now i will go, go towards the 1 is to 50 dilution for that dilution i will take 980 microliter that diluting reagent and 20 microliter i will take the patient sample and we will mix it and we will keep for 5 minute just to uh, make our dilution uh, ready now we will take the 20 microliter pipe it and just mix it well after that i will change the pipe to 100 microliter because as i need the sample 100 microliter and just with 100 microliter pipe it again i will mix little and then i will keep for 5 minutes after that we will start the test now we need two sprs and two strips because one was for control and one was for the patient sample and we will keep in the section a and first two positions as we programmed according to that we will keep just sample dispensing time we have to be careful in vidas analyzer because sample dispensing is by our hand not by the machine Uh, so we have to be careful that in which strip we are adding which sample so first strip we program for the control and second strip we program for the patient sample now first position is control 100 microliter and a second position is patient sample see just before adding also we will mix just to confirm and then 100 microliter and now we will start the our test i want to show you but with camera it was not clear to see the reagent so we will run and after we will see the result that is our main point because with hcg test we can know that number of uh, how much level of hormone and according to that level we can get idea that which week of pregnancy is going on and same in other cases also we need hcg hormone test so it depends on the patient history and infection now you see this patient hcg level came 305.91 mui per ml but as you remember we will not report this value because we dilute the sample so we will multiply this with our diluting factor and then that final value we will issue the result so we will multiply this value with 50 that was our diluting factor 15295 so 15295 miu per ml level of hormone uh, is present in the patient so now you can get idea from this value doctor will get idea according to scan and according to this value they can judge exact 
what week is going on so now you understand fully that what is the difference between pregnancy rapid test and hcg serum hcg hormone test because as we saw in pregnancy test on rapid card test only we came to know that either the patient is negative or it is positive but we have no idea that what week is going on or how much level of hormone is already produced but with the help of uh, hcg hormone test uh, some cases here also one point i will mention you in some kits uh, uh, or in some labs it will report as beta hcg some labs it will be reported as hcg so do not be confused it same test only so with the help of same patient what came was positive as i showed you before with the help of hcg hormone test and with the result final result we get idea that which week is going on and doctor can proceed their further investigations and with the help of scan also so this is the difference between uh, pregnancy rapid card test and hcg hormone test i hope you understand well the difference between and the purpose of this test thank you so much